Welcome back YouTubers. This is going to be a review of the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Grapple figure. Now this figure gets retooled into the Kingdom Inferno as both the original and this version were both based off the same character designs. So without much further ado, let's get started. First, let's take a look at what comes in the package. As you can see, there's the insert. Outside of the box has grapple on the side there. He's got the hose end for Inferno there, despite the fact I don't see it in the package at all. Uh, oh wait, no, sorry, I made a mistake. There it is. And the inside of the package has that useless sheet of paper that comes with all the Transformers these days, but also this little star map section, which if you collect them, they form the map for the Transformers' journey during the Earth Rise portion. At least, it's what it is supposed to be. It's not actually in the TV show that's on Netflix, but the map is kind of a neat little extra. If you read all the different map sections, there are planets in the Transformer universe, like Velocitron, the Jungle Planet, etc. But you need our old friend Red Tech Spec Readers to read what they say. So putting it on this one, there's a bunch of map points on this one, but you don't actually see any planets. So grapple section is just maps, as you can see. So, not too significant to the grand scheme of things. Anyway, let's get on to Grapple himself. As you can see, vehicle mode. He has a rifle, attaches to any of these peg holes. He has a claw here, a crane arm, can lock in or pull it out. Claw, also fits into any of the peg holes. And a little crane arm attachment here which is pretty good. So you got some options. There's also this nozzle which clips in right here. Has a little slat here to clip in. I didn't notice it at first. Hmm. Silly me. But anyway, let's get to the transformer. Now, transforming grapple is actually pretty easy. First, pop the back section here up. but he's got these really deep peg holes, so you gotta push a little bit. There we go. Once you do that, his transformation is relatively simple. You simply turn this part up, his arms fold out and down, and this piece folds in on itself like this, until it clips Together, and you lock it in there. And this top piece, almost, you gotta turn it before you lock it in. And this all folds down. These pieces fold back to form the feet. And there you have basic grapple. Now his hands fold out like so. And you've got him in robot mode. Now 
Grapple has a laser rifle. Put this in. But he's also got as that claw you saw before. And you can put one in either hand, but claw goes there. So there's a grappling claw. And the little claw piece has an attachment part here for the little MicroMaster base transformers that turn into little platforms and such. So you can link up with those Omega Supreme or the Kingdom Rodimus Prime that's coming out soon. You can also take this little hose attachment, which I think is really made more for Inferno, and clip that in. So now he has a little laser gun or hose attachment thing. And that's Inferno. I mean, sorry, that's Grapple for me. Now, in the original 1984 series, he was in the second season, and he was a retool of the Inferno model, so it's kind of a uh, that he's the other way around here, or at least I think he is. It could be that his model came first in the Diaclone line, which is what he's based off of. All in all, this is a really good design, and I think a pretty good representation of the character. So if you're looking for a grapple character, this is definitely one to get. Plus, the character is nice, basic, not too hard to figure out. I didn't even read the instruction booklet when I first transformed him, I just figured it out. So he's nice and intuitive. And also, if you're trying to collect like a G1 set of Transformers, he's a good representation. But anyway, please like, subscribe, comment below on my Twitter, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!